Psoriasis is a chronic skin condition where faulty signals from the immune system cause skin cells to form more rapidly than usual. That causes skin cells to be more immature, so they'll turn red and cause uh, thick scales to form as well. Normal skin cells will mature over a period of about two months and shedding will happen over three months. In psoriasis, skin cells can mature in only about five days. The most common symptom of psoriasis is red, flaky, sometimes itchy skin. So the most common locations where you might find psoriasis are elbows, knees, the belly button, the crease of the buttocks, sometimes on the scalp. Psoriasis plaques are often red and often have very thick white oyster-like scale on them. This can be uncomfortable and they can also be very emotionally debilitating to patients. You can also find psoriasis at times in the body folds, under the arms and, and groin folds. So psoriasis in the armpits and in the body folds has a special name called inverse psoriasis. In those areas, psoriasis will appear red and shiny. Sometimes it can be confused with an allergy to your deodorant. Psoriasis treatment is different than treatment for other rashes. So getting the correct diagnosis from your dermatologist is important in ascertaining that you get the correct therapies. So when treating a patient with psoriasis, the first thing that we want to establish is good skin care routine and good skin hygiene. That might involve taking short showers, moisturizing frequently, keeping stress levels low, having a good diet, all of that can affect the baseline of psoriasis. Psoriasis has had an explosion of new uh, therapies over the last few years, and this has been providing great hope for patients who've been suffering with uh, psoriasis that's been quite debilitating over the years. These new medication classes also have had a profound effect on patients affected by psoriatic arthritis by helping protect their joints and helping prevent progression of that debilitating disease. Psoriasis does have a profound effect on someone's quality of life. It can lead to depression and feelings of uh, hopelessness. I think that patients should realize that there is better hope now than ever before in treatments that can clear your skin and keep you clear for long periods of time.